Hugo was driving his Model S down the highway in Merida, Mexico. A police pickup truck was speeding up behind him with lights on, but without any siren. As traffic started to pile up in front of them, the cop moved over to the left lane behind Hugo. Hugo had nowhere to go since another car was moving into the lane on his right. When Hugo braked for traffic, the police truck rear-ended him. Thankfully, the police officer immediately took responsibility. Hugo thinks the officer might have been checking his blind spot before attempting to overtake him at the moment that Hugo braked. This caused him to hit the rear end of Hugo's Tesla without even attempting to stop. Hugo was devastated when this happened since he'd waited a long time to take delivery of the car and he'd only been behind the wheel for a couple of months. By that, I mean he'd literally only been behind any steering wheel at all for a couple of months. Hugo is only 16 years old. He had his driver's permit, which the police checked very thoroughly. They filed an insurance claim and Hugo is waiting to hear how long the repairs will take and how much they will cost. He's just glad he had video footage to prove what happened. Devo was driving his Model 3 in Mississauga, Ontario. Just as he entered an intersection on a green light, he felt an impact. A Jeep driver had taken an exit off of Highway 407 and just kept on driving through a red light, crashing into the Tesla. Devo was uninjured, so he jumped out of his car and rushed over to the driver of the Jeep and asked him, are you okay? The Jeep driver confirmed he was fine and they agreed that they should call emergency services. When they did, the police refused to come to the scene of the accident since nobody was hurt. When Diva got home, he filed an insurance report, including his Tesla cam footage. The other driver accepted full responsibility and his insurance provider agreed to pay for the damage. Unfortunately, here's where Diva's story takes a turn for the worse. Repairs for the Tesla will cost 35,000 US dollars. Since the vehicle is worth more now than it was when it was originally sold, Tesla is asking Diva to cover $8,000 of the repairs out of his own pocket, since the insurance company only wants to pay for the original value of the vehicle. Diva asked his own insurance provider if they'd cover the $8,000, but they refused, calling this deal a personal agreement between him and Tesla. Diva still doesn't understand why he's being held responsible for the difference. Honestly, I'm pretty confused myself. Can anyone explain exactly what's going on here? Let us know in a comment. Nicholas had parked his Model Y at work in Arlington Heights, Illinois. Sentry Mode caught this video of lightning striking a tree a mere 10 feet away from his car. Nicholas' workplace immediately lost power and we're sorry to have to tell you that the tree was completely destroyed, but wow, what a video. Joe had parked his Model Y in Eureka, California when the driver of a Toyota Tundra thought they'd be able to squeeze past it. Unfortunately, they were wrong and their running board caught the front corner of Joe's car. Joe's insurance provider was able to locate the owner of the Toyota thanks to the clear footage of the driver's license plates. The offender's insurance provider accepted responsibility after reviewing the video. Joe also reported the hit and run to the police. His front bumper cover and fog light needed to be replaced and the total cost of repair was 3,000 US dollars. Simon was driving his Model 3 on a mountain road in France. Thanks to road construction in one of the two lanes, this section of the road had been turned into a one-way street controlled by a traffic light. In spite of the traffic signals, a truck with people in protective suits and gas masks came down the road toward him. Simon tried to back up, but another car was already behind him. The truck wouldn't budge and Simon and all the other drivers had to back up and move out of its way. Simon's just glad he managed to escape unscathed, but he can't help but wonder what this was all about. Do you have any ideas? Ryan was driving his Model Y in Knoxville, Tennessee when a Scion XB's engine blew out while the driver was trying to skip traffic. I swear, the ICE drivers can't help but invent new versions of rolling coal. Ryan was sitting at a red light when a Toyota truck on the opposite side of the divided highway and not visible on any of the cameras unfortunately, lost its left rear tire. 
The tire proceeded to fly over to the other side of the highway, hit a white Nissan on the left, then smashed into the windshield of the Corolla in front of Ryan. Luckily, nobody was injured. The Nissan sustained damage to the left side of the car, and the Corolla's windshield was shattered. Ryan stopped and called the police. The police officer who responded to the scene watched the Tesla cam footage on the Tesla's screen, and he was very excited to see the inside of the Tesla. He asked Ryan a few questions and told him he was interested in getting one himself. Chris was out having dinner with his family when some shady characters donned Joker masks before sneaking around his Model 3. Then they shuffled down the side of the car and off into the parking lot, never to be seen again. Chris found all of this quite odd. Joel had parked his Model 3 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin when the cart demon expertly backed up the cart and sent it directly at the Tesla. That's a confirmed hit. Ouch! This submitter was visiting a supercharger when she met Nate, the most amazing Tesla mobile ranger she's ever seen. He was there addressing tire concerns for Tesla drivers, and he topped off the submitter's tires too. He told her that some drivers, especially new Tesla owners, don't know how to do some of the small things like checking tire pressure. He told her he's the only mobile ranger specializing in tires for the whole state of Colorado, and he carries at least one of each tire that Tesla sells in his ranger service van. He likes to visit superchargers when he's not busy with other appointments. His dream is to own a Model Y. We hope that he gets his dream car one day. He's providing a very valuable service. The submitter says, we need more Nates. What a champ. This submitter told us he couldn't wait any longer, so he made his own Cybertruck and sent it to the moon. Calvin was eating brunch with his wife in Toronto, Ontario when the driver of a Jeep tried to park next to his parked Model 3. The Jeep hit the Tesla before backing up and driving off. Since it was a hit and run accident, Calvin filed an insurance claim and a collision report the same day. He told the police officer who took the report that he had footage of the collision and they were grateful since this made it easy to identify the Jeep. When Calvin initially returned to his Tesla and saw the damage, he noticed a Honda parked next to him, and his first thought was, oh man, not a Honda bump. This time though, it wasn't the Honda's fault. Jerry was heading south on I-405 in California with autopilot engaged in the carpool lane. He was going about 72 miles per hour when he saw the ladder on the truck in front of him rattle loose and tip up. Jerry immediately disengaged autopilot since he wasn't sure how it would react, and he slowed down to increase the distance between his Model Y and the precarious ladder. When the ladder finally flew off, Jerry applied the brakes to slow down even further and watched the ladder fall and tumble along the ground. Fortunately, the ladder didn't block the entire lane when it came to a stop, so he was able to maneuver around it without exiting the carpool lane. He tried to catch up to the truck to let the driver know they'd lost a ladder, but they were too far ahead, and Jerry's exit was coming up. Ben was sitting at a red light in Phoenix, Arizona, when a Maserati ran the red and crashed head-on into an SUV that had been making a protected left turn. The driver of the Maserati got out of their car and approached the SUV aggressively as if they considered the other driver to be at fault. The police were quickly alerted about the accident. Charlie had parked his Model 3 in a mall parking lot in San Diego, California while eating at a restaurant. That's when Sentry Mode recorded a Honda minivan making an illegal U-turn, bumping another car in the process. The driver of the minivan claimed he'd swerved to avoid a skateboarder. But as we can see in the footage, the skateboarder was on the sidewalk and nowhere near the minivan when the accident occurred. The police reviewed the footage and determined the minivan driver was at fault. Sentry Mode never lies. Charlie asked us to give a shout out to his girls. They couldn't wait to catch something on Tesla Cam so they could send it to Wham Bam. Hey there Mia and Luna, we hope you're satisfied. Wham Bam Tesla Cam, I hope you're satisfied. <laughs>